Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we have an Ulta haul. I bought a whole bunch of new products at Ulta that I am so excited to try. So I'm going to first unbox everything and show you and then of course I will be doing a full face of makeup with all of the new products I bought. So if you are excited for today's video, if you're excited to see all of these new Ulta goodies in action, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I got some new press-on nails. You guys know I have been obsessed with press-on nails for the past several months now. And Glamnetics is one of my favorite brands and they have some new styles at Ulta. And I had to grab these short ones here. These are the Heaven Scent Super Short Nails and they look incredible. I feel like these are going to look very, very natural on. And so I'm looking forward to trying these on. The ones I have on right now, I think I got at TJ Maxx and I've had them on for over a week now, um, maybe a week and a half or so. So I'm going to, I think, keep these on till like Monday and then on Tuesday for my trip, I'll put them on. So very excited for these nails. This new product from MAC has me so intrigued. So I definitely had to grab it. And it is their new Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara, which you're supposed to apply after having your mascara on for like several hours. And it's supposed to like soften the lashes and like freshen up your look in a way. I'm very intrigued about this and so I'm going to not put it on right away because it's supposed to be a dry shampoo so I'm going to put on a different mascara and then at the end of the day or like I don't know in five hours or so we'll put this one on and see how the look changes. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> From Too Faced I have been dying to try their new blushes so I got a shade. This is the Cloud Crush Blurring Blush from Too Faced and I got mine in the shade Head in the clouds it's a diffused matte blush um, very pumped for this one I told you guys in a will I buy a video that I really wanted to try the color correctors from elf and I took this opportunity to pick one up this is the elf camo color corrector and I got mine in the peachy shade for my under eye circles cannot wait to try it on and while we're in the subject of under eye circles I also got the new urban decay the Naked Quickie Concealer. I got mine in the shade 20NN, which I'm pretty positive is going to be the right one, but I have not opened it yet, so let's see. First of all, this is a lot larger than I expected. Second of all, I feel like that shade might be okay. It's definitely darker than the foundation I have in here, but I have to bronze this foundation up because the foundation is the wrong color. I got the new Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation in a shade that is way too light for me. However, I still wanna try this one, so my plan is to mix it with a liquid bronzer and get it to look the right shade for me. I'm going to use my Milk Liquid Bronzer for that. The bionic bronzer I feel like I got quite a bit of stuff usually my hauls are a little smaller but I was on the phone with my friend Andrea when I was ordering all of this and she kept telling me about all of the products she was excited about so I was like add to cart <laughs> anyways um, since we are on the subject of essence I have two more essence products that I got this one here is the new essence come for matte eight-hour lip liner and of course I got it in a color that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that swatched really really buttery by the way and I also got the new essence lash like a boss mascara I think they have different ones of these and I got the instant volume and length and this is what the wand looks like right here I'm excited to try this one. Also worth mentioning, I got it in the waterproof version because other Essence mascaras transfer on me a lot. And so I was hoping that if I got the waterproof version, it won't transfer. So I'll have to let you know about that. <laughs> For eyeshadow, I got a new ColourPop palette that is available at Ulta that looked so good. And it is this one right here, the Sage the Day palette. I was just on the phone with my friend Andrea and she said it looks a lot like the Mandalorian palette. And we kind of put them both to the camera to compare and it does look a hell of a lot like the Mandalorian palette, but I don't have that one, so um, it's a new color story for me, and it looks absolutely stunning. I don't know if the Mandalorian palette is still available, but if it's not and you want something similar, this might be it right here. To match my sage eye look, I got this killer liner from Too Faced in Killer Camo, which is also like an olive green type of a shade, so I'm excited to try that. And I couldn't pick one lipstick because there were two lipstick formulas that are new at Ulta that intrigue me. 
so I got them both. The luxurious one is the new Hourglass lipstick, which I have been dying to try. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Satin Cream Lipstick, and I got mine in the shade Alpine, which I believe is like the lighter, nudie shade. And ugh, the packaging is beautiful so it just looks like a good old regular bullet in gold packaging but this right here makes it so freaking stunning i love it i got the most potty shade i could possibly get i love it it's so nice whenever i get expensive lipsticks i always go for like the safest color because i want to wear it i know that i'm not going to wear a red a lot or like an orange lipstick a lot but a nude is always a safe bet for me <laughs> last but not least i bought something from a brand that i literally have not purchased anything from in at least 10 years and that brand is revlon which i think is having sort of a rebrand i feel like they might be coming back because i have heard about them twice in the past month and that's more than I've heard about them in the past 10 years so anyways I bought a new lipstick it came in this red bag but let me open it it's the new Revlon Colorstay Suede Ink and here is the color that I chose which looks a little warmer than I intended oh no but it swatches more pink so there you go this color is 001 Gut Instinct. I think I'm gonna start with eyes today, so I'm going to use this Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer to begin. And you guys know what I was thinking? I miss having my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer so much. <laughs> I feel like I've been making my mental list of things to get during the Sephora VIB sale and the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer might just be one of those items because I love it <laughs> and I haven't had it in a few months since I finished it and it's just not the same. Now that Natasha Denona is going to be at Ulta, I wonder if Ulta is going to carry this one because Sephora has not been carrying it for a while now. Anyways, the primer is on and I'm going to sage the day. I think I want to start with the color Intuition here and I'm going to tap it on the crease of my eye with a rougher number 15. And after I have enough color on there, I'm going to start blending it back and forth. That blended out so beautifully and so fast too. Love it. I'm going to add a bit more to the outer corner. And with a different blending brush, I'm going to go into the color Keep Calm. And I think I want to add it to the inner half of my crease here. At first, at least, to see how I like it. I don't know. I'm just adding it up here. <laughs> inner corner and into the crease. That looks so pretty. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that one. And I think I also want to add it to my outer corner. And blend it into the crease back here as well. Which I'm going to darken this in a second. But I just wanted to make it even before I darken the outer part. So just doing little circles back here to blend it into my crease shade. And then with that same brush, I'm going to use the color Smudge Me. A little bit of it because I feel like this can get very dark. And I'm going to smoke out the outermost corner of the eye. So I'm just diffusing this color into the previous one. Just back and forth running my brush very lightly so that it blends easily. Love it. All right, so for the center, I'm just going to grab this shade here. This one is called Retreat Me, and I'm going to... Did I mean to flip you? <laughs> I'm going to tap it right in the center of my eyelid. Very pretty. I'm totally loving the way this looks, and I cleaned up underneath my eye a little bit. I'm going to finish it up with the shade Lip Vibes right here. I think I want to add it to the center. Okay, that's literally not doing anything. It'll be my inner corner shade as well though, but on top of the other color, it didn't do anything. I thought maybe it would be a little extra sparkly or something, but just kidding. So with a rougher number 28, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to add it right here on the inner corner and bring it in a bit. There we go, now we can see it. I guess it's very similar to the color I put in the center of my eye, so that's why we couldn't see it at first. On the pan, they look very different though. This one looks like it's going to be more like iridescent and stuff. The top of the eyes is done and it's time to get started with complexion. I'm dying to try this e.l.f. color corrector, so I'm going to put it on right now, just right underneath my eye here. It's a little darker than the Charlotte one that I usually use, but I feel like it's going to work. And with the tip of my wet beauty blender, I'm going to blend it in. I think that looks really nice. 
And I like that it's very, very thin. And now for the mixing portion of this video, because there's no way I can look this pale, I'm going to mix these two. I have seen that Ms. Morgan Turner, who I am obsessed with, um, has been loving this foundation, so obviously I have to try it. I think it's a bit more liquidy than I thought, so I'm already liking it. I thought it was going to be more creamy. Like I said, that is the color I got, which is too light for me. And if you want to learn from my mistake, this is 40 Alabaster. So if we are um, shade matching twins, go a little darker than that. I'm going to add a bit of bronzer right here next to it, and I'm going to mix them to see if we can get the right shade for me. All right, I think we are there. <laughs> I think I mixed the same amount of bronzer and foundation, kind of. So I'm going to bounce it on with my Beauty Blender next. If you have any foundations that are too light for you, by the way, this is definitely a great way to make it work. And this foundation, by the way, was super affordable. I had to mix a little bit more, but now I feel like I know the portions. <laughs> So it was a bit faster. Okay, the foundation is blended. The coverage is magnificent. I made the color work for me. I don't know if I'm loving it because it's weird. It's not like looking dry or anything, but I do feel like it's highlighting all of my pores. Does anybody else feel like that? Like even on my forehead? Is this a super glowy foundation? Is that what's happening? I think that is what the issue is. I feel like it's very, very glowy. Or maybe it's the bronzer. Overall though, I'm not upset, it looks really nice. And I know that if I set this with some translucent powder, it's going to go away. And I am dying to try the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. Like I said, I got mine in the shade 20 and N. This is a foundation bottle, almost. <laughs> Look at the foundation bottle next to the concealer bottle, come on. This is huge. It has 0.55 fluid ounces. I'm going to dab some of this right here and back there. And I'm not going to try the brush that it came with because everyone I've seen try the brush doesn't like it. So why would I put myself through that? <laughs> so with the shade 20 and N, I'm going to cover the under eye area. That ended up actually being a pretty bright shade, more than I expected but it looks good, I think, in comparison to this foundation, so I'm not mad. And a little bit goes a very long way with this one. Wow, this concealer looks really nice. Just to brighten a bit here, I'm going to add some to the center of my face. Maybe I'll use the brush for this bit. For the center of the face, it's not bad, actually. I'm not swiping it, I'm just kind of tapping it all over. So before any powder gets applied, here's what the foundation and concealer look like. Very impressed with that concealer, I really like it. And before I powder, I'm going to use a cream contouring slash bronzing product. This one you can also find at Ulta. It's not new, but I love it. This is the NYX Cosmetics um, Wonder Stick. And it is incredible, one of my favorite cream bronzers I tried last year. So I'm blending all of the bronzer in with my Beauty Blender. I never thought I would say this, but I am dying for some powder. <laughs> I look so shiny. <sighs> that bronzer blends so good. I'm obsessed, I love it. Time for the jawline. Bronzer makes my world go round, okay? I'm obsessed with bronzer. This looks so much better already. And now, translucent powder, which I know exactly which one I wanna use, and I'm dying to put it on because I feel like it's going to blur everything and I'm going to look so nice afterwards. I'm bringing out my Laura Mercier Tone Up Rose Powder for this challenge, and I'm going to dab it on with a sponge. I'm serious about the blur I wanna to get today. Look at that. Look at that. Just take a look at the powder versus no powder over here. Love it. And I haven't even bought the powder out. I'm going to take some excess off in a second, but wow. That Essence foundation is really shiny, especially in combination with the Milk Bronzer, but you know, I had to do that in order to make it my shade. <laughs> so with my Refer number 37 brush, I'm going to buff it all so that if I have any X's, it'll go away. Just buff everywhere. Okay, take a look right there at what everything looks like once the powder is applied and buffed. We look blurred now, the shine has gone away, and I'm kinda happy about it. <laughs> For underneath my eye, I'm going to grab a little bit of Smudge Me on a refer 
number 13 and just back and forth smoke my under eye with that shade making sure it meets with the outer corner here and then with the same brush I'm going to keep calm over here and we are going to smoke it all out so all the way to the tear duct area and just back and forth blending it and I've been really looking forward to this eyeliner so Let's try it. Just take a look at the fabulous olive color right there. I love it. I'm going to line the waterline with it. I don't have any other eyeliner this color, I don't think. So I'm very excited to have added this one to my collection. Look at the difference. Okay, I added a little bit of the Sigma bronzer on top of my makeup because I felt like when I added the powder, the NYX bronzer went away a little bit and I didn't want to add more cream. So this was my solution. I like the way it looks. The eyes look good. Time for mascara. And I'm going to try on this Essence Lash Like a Boss Instant Volume and Length Mascara in the waterproof version. Okay, that's like one very quick code. Not bad. Let me keep going. Okay, I'm on code three, I think. And... The thing I like about this one is that I feel like I can keep going and it's not looking super clumpy even though I've dipped my brush in like three different times. And it's still building it really beautifully. And this isn't even my good lash. My good lash is the other one. Okay, the mascara has been fully applied and to say I'm blown away is the understatement of the year because I really didn't really have many expectations for this one. I really hope it doesn't crumble and I really hope that it doesn't transfer because my lashes look so good right now and i'm about to leave my house i'm about to go to lunch and like go shopping a bit so we are going to do a really nice wear test of this whole entire makeup look today but the mascara though the mascara i'm obsessed <laughs> the eyes are finally done i couldn't be happier right now <laughs> and it is finally time to try the cloud crush blush from too faced the packaging is everything it looks so so cute i'm trying it on with my refer number five brush and so i'm going to dab it right here on my cheek so pretty this color is head in the clouds by the way and it looks amazing dare i say i'm having a fabulous makeup day today i have pretty much liked everything <laughs> Time for this Essence Waterproof Lip Liner. I was trying to look at the shade name. I'll make sure to look for the name of the shade of this one and it'll be in the description box along with everything else I've used in today's video. All of the products are in the description box and all of the links are down there as well. Whenever you shop my links, you are helping out my channel. So um, if you want to grab anything from this haul, please shop my links down below. As I was saying, time for the lip liner. And the first lipstick I want to try is the Revlon one because I want to keep the Hourglass one on instead of this one. But I want to show you this one as well. This pretty much matches the lip liner to a T. <laughs> and it has a very thin soft matte formula. Here's the look of that Revlon lipstick. I don't love the color. This is not an everyday patty color right here, but it's not bad. Now the lipstick, I just don't think it feels great. It feels a little sticky. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. So I'm going to take it off and we'll switch to the Hourglass lipstick. So much for Revlon coming back. I feel like that's the only product I've tried that I didn't like. I took off the lipstick from the center. I left the lip liner on and I'm going to put on my Hourglass lipstick, which does not match this lip liner at all, but we'll see. Oh, creamy goodness. Okay, now we're talking. I love this. Okay, so this right here is the finished makeup look with all of my new products that I got at Ulta. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. I feel like this is one of the most successful hauls that I've done. <laughs> and the only products that I have yet to try are the Glamnetics nails, which I know I love. But I also am dying to try this mascara refresher, this mascara dry shampoo. So what I'll do is I'm going to go on my date with my friend i'm going to go shopping and when i get back in a few hours we're going to try this on top of the essence mascara what you just saw was around 12 50 today and it is 7 28 so it's been a while and i can definitely use my mascara refresher now but before i do that just look at how this makeup has worn for what like seven hours now six and a half hours or so 
Um, I didn't mean to do a check-in on the rest of the makeup, but I'm going to show you anyways because everything looks really good. The lipstick is the only thing that wore off and of course I went to lunch and everything so that was bound to happen. And then I think I might have touched my nose here a bit because my foundation wore off of my nose just in that spot. I think it was, yeah. I probably just wiped it. <laughs> as far as the mascara though, no transfer, which I'm very impressed by. I've had like a couple of flakes that I've just like dusted off and they've gone away very easily. Anyways, let's try the mascara dry shampoo from MAC. It says apply over dried and set mascara. The lash teaser brush comes through lashes without tugging. As I was reading back here, it says not suitable over waterproof, water resistant mascaras. So I guess we'll have to try this in a different video because this Essence mascara is waterproof. But this is what this mascara dry shampoo looks like. It just looks like regular ass mascara. We will pause on this test, which is a shame because the Essence mascara is waterproof. So I want to give you a good review of this mascara dry shampoo situation. Not that this is a product that we need, I don't think, because like, does anybody ever is like, oh my God, I need to freshen up my mascara? That's honestly never been something that crossed my mind, but I'm not gonna knock it till I try it, okay? So I'll just review this in an upcoming video. I am so sorry I can't review it today, but I am very happy that I found this amazing essence waterproof mascara that has worn so beautifully all day and that makes my lashes look so long, so thick and so separated. I basically loved every single product that I tried today. As you can see, the makeup is still looking really good. The only product that I didn't like was this Revlon lipstick right here. Everything else I loved. The concealer from Urban Decay looks amazing. The foundation looks amazing. The blush, you can still definitely see it several hours later and it looks good. The lip liner was good. The eyeshadow was great. The mascara was incredible. So everything that I tried today, I loved except for that Revlon lipstick. If you guys liked today's video, and I'm sorry if I got your hopes up about trying this one. If you guys liked today's video though, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll try this in another video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.